So today we're going to speak about what is the way to connect yourself to something more spiritual, right? Because this is what it's all about. Everybody wants connection, right? How can I connect myself? So today everything is about connection. There's different connections. You can in this in this uh, thing of Facebook that we had before. So what are, what people are connecting to? So. The, the, whatever you are connect yourself to, so that shows who you are, what you want. And this is defining what you're holding in your life. So the real inner being of us is the, the, the will is to connect to something that is very, very high, the highest of the highest. Right? So obviously, like in uh, computers, if you want to, to be able to connect on very high speed, you have to have the right facilities, you have to have the right hardware to be able to, that will keep you in the, in the, in the right way, in the right connection, that uh, right, the things won't get uh, broken, uh, burned, whatever. So also in the, in the spiritual mean. So if a person wants to connect himself to something that is very very high spiritually, so it have to have certain preparation, right? To to be able to have this connection in a healthy way, like we see that some people that they didn't prepare themselves and they tried to connect, in a, they, they they tried to force the connection by using all kinds of uh, techniques and they got harmed spiritually, mentally even sometimes physically and the reason is because they didn't have the right preparation for this connection so like, it, like we can understand it in the physical level so how much more so it will be in the spiritual level so there's different levels of preparation as much as a person prepares, him, prepares himself so then he's able to contain the, the spiritual strength and energy that will come in the connection and it has to be balanced so so if someone is 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 not acting like he should he knows he should be acting he's going after his uh, lusts and desires in different ways whatever being be uh, yelling in on his on his family and uh, you know uh, stealing from his friends and whatever and he knows it's not right but he doesn't control himself, he's going, you know, he's doing whatever his, 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 desire. his desire and his Yetzirah tells him. So then, when he comes to connect himself to something spiritual, so there's no, there's no foundation that, that this connection will rest upon. So this is, this is the first fundamental that the person has to understand, that, that this thing has to be balanced. Otherwise, like something will get broken in the way. So this, so this preparation is is it can be very simple, it can be very simple, and it can be more sophisticated. Right. So <clears throat> so the, the the first the first simple way is like I said to to be able to to control himself and that also have many levels a person can control his physical body but his mind can run free or it can be also there's different levels of, of, of control so to be in control on all the different levels of his being is very very high it's not like it's the only the righteous the big righteous people they could do that to, to be able to stay in control like on all the different parts of their being. For for the simple people, usually even to, to control their physical being is not so is not so simple. Because they used to go after the after their body. So if they, they see ice cream, so they want to take the ice cream, whatever it is, you know. It's to, 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 to control and to stop and to think. Is that what I need? Is that what I want? So it's hard, right? And for some reason, it is easier for us 
to do that for a physical matter than from a spiritual matter. If I tell the, the, the person, listen, this ice cream is not good for your health, it's not good for your, for your sugar, your problem, whatever, so, so if the doctor tells him, so maybe it will be hard for him, but usually most of the people, they will control themselves and they won't take this ice cream. They understand, it's not good for, the, for my body. But if I tell him, listen, it's not good for your for spirituality, so it's not so simple. For some reason, the, to, to, to make the, the effort for, for a spiritual mean, for most of the people it is harder. Why? Because they don't, their, their consciousness is not, is not in that level. They don't, they don't see themselves as a spiritual being. They see themselves as a physical being. So because they are, they are connected to their, to their body, to their physicality, so like to do something for that, to prevent themselves from doing something that will harm their spirituality, I don't feel my spirituality anyhow. So well, it doesn't make a difference for me. I, like, I can do whatever I want, I can see whatever I want, I can eat whatever I want. I don't feel any, any difference. So, so it is harder. So, so there is, there is uh, many levels of understanding that comes before the, the consciousness that is something that a person has to build. Meaning, if, I, if a doctor tells me, listen, it's best for your sugar, I don't feel any problem with my sugar, but he tells me, listen, I have a chart here, I see your blood test, I'm telling you, you have a problem with your sugar, you have to control yourself now to eat too much, too much ice cream, whatever it is, right? So, I, have, I believe the, the doctor. Why, why do I believe the doctor? What, may, what, what, makes, what makes people to believe the doctor? They saw, they had like history that they saw in their life from their childhood that usually the doctors write more or less, right? They know what they're doing. They have a certain... So, so they believe them, right? So because they believe him, so even though whatever he says doesn't fit my lust and desire, but I say, okay, if the doctor tells me, so I listen to the doctor. What happens when the rabbi tells you? So most of the people, they, they, it's hard for them to believe what the rabbi says and to go after that. Even though they, if you ask them, they will tell you, that, yes, it's good to listen to the rabbi, it's good to, to, to do whatever the rabbi say, but to, to, in practicality of their everyday life, it is, it is much more of a test. So, so a person has to, to look on himself and to see, why is it, why, why it's hard for me to, to believe the rabbi and to live like the rabbi tells me, and it's easier for me to do that what, according to what the doctor tells me, or my coach, whatever, you know? So, when a person gets to this point of checking himself on his belief system, who do I believe, who do I trust, after which, which, which opinion do I take, and I live my life according to that. So, when a person builds him, is himself in, a, in this different way, than what the, the, the most of the world is built, meaning is not, is not so certain that the doctor knows what is it about, and he goes and he asks the rabbi, so then it, it starts a certain movement that this movement is, it, it takes, it takes right. time, it right. takes time, but it builds up to, to, to a point that he, he will trust the words of the rabbis. So if he reads in a certain book that, that whatever a person sees is, is making a, and take, take a part of, of his mind and makes a certain new creation in his mind and it has a spiritual effect, so then he starts to think, what, what do I look? I, I look on whatever I want or I, I want I want to have certain certain things that I won't look on them because I don't want to connect to them because it makes the connection. So then he start to look on the world as in different. What's what's going on? What what do I want to connect myself? We're going back to the first point of the 
what do you, what do you want to connect yourself to? So if if a person understands that everything have an effect, nothing goes for vain. Everything have in the in cause the and effect. Cause, cause and effect in in a chain reaction that when you make a movement in your feelings in your thoughts, you don't know what will be the effect of that after after the, the chain will go down or up, whatever you want to call it, uh, and the cause and effect will, it, it, get, it might get very, very big, right? If I tell you, listen, if you, if you have this thought, it will harm your grandson. <coughs> I don't want to harm my grandson, right? Even though a person didn't get married yet, but you can think about what will happen when I'll get married, when I'll have children, when I'll become a grandfather and I want my, my grandchildren to be healthy and strong, right? Mm -hmm. And everything else. So, so if I, I tell a person, if, if you do that, it will, have a, it will have a benefit for you, for your, for your children, for your friends, whatever it is. So it gives a person a certain reason to, to, to guard himself. But again, it goes back to do you believe what I tell you, or you take it as a nice idea and you go you go on with your life, right? So, so the first step the first step I think is to know what you believe and why do you believe what you believe to understand yourself, right? And that's that's that's. This first step is very, very big. Most of the people, they, don't, they, they, they are not aware of that. I believe whatever I believe, whatever I grew up with, whatever, you know, it's nature. No, you have, to, you have to be aware of that. And then when a person becomes aware of that, so he can start to work on that, to change it. Do I really want to believe those people? Maybe I want to believe other people. What's the reason? What's, what's, the, what's the effect? What, what, what is the benefit? What, right? And then when a person builds his faith in the right place, which is the sources of the Torah and the, all those books that we have in the, in the Zohar and the, right? So, and so on. So then when, he's, when, when if I tell you the source, listen, really what I'm saying now, it's written in the Zohar Kadosh or in the Ariza or so on. So a person have a fear of the of the respect that he feels those those sources I, I hold by them so I have to I have to change my life according to that if that's true it means right a, I have to I have to take an action in this in this direction and then slowly slowly the life start to change and when it start to change so a person slowly, slowly will see the, the outcomes of the changes that he made. And he will see that, that it's, not, it's, not, it's not the same, right? He will see that there's things start to happen. And it's not, it's not only about nature. It's not only about coincidence. He will hear different things from different people and he will start to connect the, the different things that he hears and he... And he and he heard before, and what he sees, and then, then the, this thing builds up, and the reason it builds up, and it, it happens like that, because Hashem wants us to be, to be connected to Him, right? And that's again, to, to, to go back to the beginning of this class, what we really want is to connect to Hashem. That's the highest of the highest. And when, we, when Hashem sees that we start to perfect ourselves and to prepare ourselves to make the foundation that we spoke about. So then he also wants to help us. So then a person gets the help of, of heavens to, to complete what he started, right? Because by ourselves we cannot do it. The, 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 the world is too crazy. It's not, it's not in our hands. But if we get the right help, the right uh, in the in the, in this way, so in the Shem's help, we can finish this project, winning the building of ourselves, and then we have the foundation to be connected to Hashem. 
And the, the, the final goal is that everybody will have that. It's not, it's, not, it's not only about me and you, it's not only about the Jewish people, it's about the whole world. The whole world should be connected, the, the creation should be connected to the Creator. That's, that's the goal of, of everything. So because we believe this, the, this is the will of Hashem, the final goal, the, to have this relationship to be completed, so we can see now what happens in the world that there's so much, so much awakening that people are the the people want to hear those things. People are interested, like to look for some some meaning of what's going on, what happens to me, what's happened to the people around me. So so we can understand that that's something that Hashem puts in our minds, in our hearts, to to arouse us to to search and to look for this change. And when we take a part, when we take a, a step, when we take an action, so we show Hashem, we, we, want to, we want to do it with you, we want to help, we want okay. to, to, do, to take our part, to be a part of that. And that that's makes Hashem very happy, because that's what He wants. He wants His children to, 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 to help Him to fix the world, right? And when, when, when we fix ourselves, so we fix the world. It's, it's all connected. And Bezrat Hashem will have the merit to, to change ourselves and to help other people to see themselves and what needs to be fixed, what needs to be changed. And everybody together will be able to help one another. Each one have his own part, his own share, what to give to this, to this uh, world, to the world goal. And, and then then, then that's the, that's the that's the really the redemption that we accepting, ex uh, um, we we waiting are, for. we're waiting for, and uh, when 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 things gets brighter, so more and more people can can realize that, like the the, the time of the of the exile is like darkness, right? So the, and the Chazal says that this world is like darkness, not, it's like night. What it means? It means night. I don't see you. I don't recognize you. So in the night, in this world, people don't recognize the Creator, they don't see the hands of Hashem. It seems like everything is nature, everything is, is accident, uh, coincidence, right? But when the, when, the, when the night gets brighter and brighter, and it's close to the daytime, so, so I see more and more details, and I, I understand what I saw, and I thought it's a donkey, it's not a donkey, it's a, it's a, it's a table. And what I, I thought, I thought in the darkness, I thought it's it's a it's a it's a man. It's really a, tree. I don't know what a tree, right? I, I I understand. I had mistakes, and so I, I I fixed my my understanding according to that. And that's the and that's and we see that happens today. We see that in our generation, from from year to a, to a year, from day to a day, it builds up, and more and more people become aware of those things, and and that's that's why. I, I felt that it's very, very important to do this project. Without a shame, I hope that everybody will get benefit from that. Thank you.